Hi, my name is Rebecca from Skylab. Skylab is a German tech company, and we specialize in aerial data analytics for the forestry industry worldwide, which means that we develop and apply algorithms for seedling counting, for timber stock and carbon stock modeling, for continuous harvest monitoring, or for monitoring and quantifying any kind of forest change. So that could be vitality or forest health, loss of canopy or dead trees and anything like that. Today, I'd like to focus on seedling counting though, using deep learning algorithms and AI. And we'd like to answer the main question in seedling management, which is normally how many seedlings have survived and where are they failing? Of course, counting all of your seedlings, in this example, there's over 300 hectares, is a pretty daunting task. So as you know, the way you normally do it, of course, is to take spot samples over a representative area. You count the seedlings in those samples like this. And that gives you a pretty good idea of the survival situation. But as you know, it's still kind of patchy because it's maybe only one, two or three percent of the total area. So we set out to change this because actually we think that counting every single seedling in your stand isn't such a crazy idea after all. So we counted all the seedlings here. And in this example, we counted 314,585. So now let's just look at some more real life examples. Um, here we analyzed 4,000 hectares of plantations for a customer in Australia in 2020. And these are the kind of results that we provided to them. So the density map shows the number of seedlings that have survived in each 20 by 20 meter grid cell. And here you can actually really see the variation across the stand between the poor performing areas in the middle and the more thriving areas towards the edges. We also provide weed maps that analyze the density of weeds across the stand. And in many cases also vitality maps which show the relative vitality of the seedlings. So this information just helps you to get a really good overview of what's going on in your plantation. But of course, you might be asking yourselves, how accurate is all of this? And about a year ago, we realized ourselves that we needed to get better at being really accurate. So we did. We trained our algorithm with more than 50 million seedlings and trees. And now we can typically detect at least 95% of seedlings visible in the aerial data. Just gonna show a couple of examples. The first is this pine stand here with really dark soil. There aren't many weeds, but it's still really difficult to see the seedlings in there and find any kind of color contrast. But with some training, our algorithm was able to identify and count all the seedlings. This is another uh, very different example where there's abundant competing vegetation. And it's really hard to even tell which are seedlings and which are weeds. But again, with sufficient training, the algorithm was able to find the seedlings amongst the weeds. So we're just going to take a quick look at adult tree counting. This is an example from GTFP in the Australian Green Triangle, where they asked us to count all the trees in 2,800 hectares. Well, we counted 2,694,214 give or take 10. So 50 million trees later, we think our algorithm has become really good and we're very confident in its performance. So now we can pretty much guarantee that 95% or more of the seedlings visible in the aerial data will be detected and counted by our algorithm. We also provide a very fast turnaround um, it's normally less than five days turnaround from the time we get the aerial data from you to the time that you get the final maps from us. And actually often we can do it a lot quicker than that. Uh, regarding the cost, uh, the seedling density analysis starts at two euros per hectare, which equates to about three Australian dollars per hectare. Or if you're in the States, that's about one dollar per acre. Now, so far, we've only talked about the data analysis but actually good data collection is absolutely crucial. For seedling counting, we need really high resolution data. So the best results come from using drones. 
And really drones have become so affordable, so efficient and really easy to use that they're the best way of capturing the data. Even something like the Mavic Pro 2, which you can see here, is really inexpensive, has a really good camera, and it's so small that it practically fits into your pocket. So you can either fly yourselves, you can get a contractor to fly for you, but then you simply upload the data to us and we take care of everything else. Now, if you do decide to fly yourself, which a lot of companies are doing now, we will help you to choose the best hardware and software. We can give you training sessions if you need them, and we'll give you all the flight specifications that you need for each flight, depending on your type of forest stand and also the results that you want to get. In fact, we can even do the mission planning for you and send you the files. So you can just press the button, sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. But don't forget to keep your remote control at hand, because at the end of the day, you're responsible for ensuring that it doesn't crash. So thank you very much for listening. And uh, if you want to contact us, you can just write to us at hello at skylabglobal.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.